Hey guys, I hope you're all really well. So today I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite meals to cook when I'm at uni. I haven't done a food related video in like forever. Um, I think I've only ever done like random baking videos um, ages ago. So you guys have always been asking me to do like a what I eat in a week. Um, but I thought this would be more useful just to show you some like easy simple recipes. So yeah, I'm going to get started and just chat you through my favourite meals and like what you need, how I do it, um, and everything like that. So I hope you guys find it useful. And if you're not at uni, then it could just be some inspiration for cooking dinner or whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So one of my first favourite meals is a chicken Thai green curry. I have been trying to get this right for so long. I've always used the little um, jars that you can get of the paste but it just never tasted quite right. Now I found like the perfect way for me to do my Thai green curry. <laughs> so what you'll need for this recipe is some baby corn, some blue dragon Thai green curry paste, coconut milk, two chicken breasts or however much chicken you want, two onions and then I like to have some poppadoms and rice with it. So the thing that really made it for me with this recipe is to put it all into one pot and just have it on like a 200 and just cook it for like an hour. So I like to just chop up everything basically and just chuck it in a casserole dish and pop it in the oven for like an hour. Um, I do fry up the onions a little bit first um, just in the bottom of the pan and that is literally it. Just put it in the oven for like an hour um, and then cook some rice before you're about to eat it and it's really really yummy and that lasts me about four meals four or five if I like stretch it even further but um, yeah I don't have the biggest portions so like if you're a guy and you have bigger portions it probably only do like two or three um, but yeah I don't have very big portion sizes. Curries are also great because you can have them with so many different things like I have them with chips some night which is really not very good um, or like um, what else do I have it with? Like naan bread, so you could just buy a pack of naan breads, or you could just have it on its own with some poppadoms, or with some rice. So like it's a really versatile dish that's just super easy and it keeps really well. You can also freeze it and then just have it like later on in that month or something. So yeah, that's a really good recipe for just not much effort. <laughs> so my next easy meal is a carbonara. I went through a week of eating this like constantly because it was just so yummy. I'm a sucker for like creamy pasta sauces but this one you don't need any cream which is great because like the reality of you being at uni and using cream more than once for a meal is not very high so this is much easier you just need eggs for the creaminess. So you will need some spring greens I like these for like just having on the side. Some bacon, you can get the little like pre-chopped ones but they're way more expensive and I think it tastes nicer if you just chop up the bacon yourself. Then I chop up some onion and the garlic, you'll need some cheese to grate um, and one egg and then I love tagliatelle so that's the pasta of choice that I go for. So to cook this can get a bit messy so I would prepare everything first so I like to chop up the garlic and onion and the bacon and just have it all ready and that all gets fried up separately so I do like the onion and the garlic first and then once that's browned off I will put the bacon with it or I will just take the onions off and put the bacon on so I don't have to use another pan and then whilst that's cooking I will boil up the tagliatelle and just cook that through um, then drain it off and then to create the creamy sauce I'm pretty sure this is a Jamie Oliver recipe but I saw Amber do it once and like it's just stuck in my brain ever since so <laughs> basically all you need to do is just whisk an egg up in like a little bowl and then add the cheese into it you're meant to use parmesan but I just use cheddar because <laughs> I don't have parmesan I really want to get some parmesan actually and yeah just whisk that all together and then I just pop it into my pasta take it off the heat and just let the heat of the pasta just mix it in and that will cook the egg you have to be really careful with this bit because you can just get scrambled egg <laughs> which is not what you want so when it looks like it's slightly cooked through and is a bit creamy then that's done and then you just add the bacon garlic and onion into the sauce 
and it's done. And then obviously boil up the spring greens just to have on the side and it's a really, really yummy meal. Often I add like a little bit of black pepper just on top of the pasta and it's so yummy. This next meal is definitely one that is more of a comfort food for me. Um, quite often I will, if I'm like feeling homesick or if I'm just feeling like a bit down, I will have this meal. So the things you will need for this meal are some potatoes, corn chicken nuggets. I am not vegetarian, but I really love these chicken nuggets. <laughs> like they're just so yummy. Some whole grain mustard. This is optional, but it makes the mash taste really yummy. Some broccoli, some skim milk and some butter and that is what you need for this one. Okay so the first thing I do is put the corn nuggets into the oven. They take about 15 minutes and then I will boil up some water and put in the potatoes with the skin on still. Mashed potato with the skin on is tastes fine and the skin is really good for you so yeah. So then once the potatoes are boiled, I will strain them off, put them back in the pan and add a little bit of butter and milk and then also a tiny bit of whole grain mustard seeds. Um, these I put way too much in this time, which was really annoying, um, but you don't need much really um, and it just creates a like really nice sort of slight crunch every now and then or like a, I don't know, it's just really satisfying to eat. So yeah, it was my sister's idea. Um, and my mum told me about it so I've tried it out and it's really yummy. And then I'll just boil up some broccoli to go with it and that will be the meal done. It's just a really nice comfort meal and you can't really go wrong with chicken nuggets and mashed potato and broccoli, <laughs> in my opinion. I wasn't going to add this one in because it's not really a meal, it's more of a breakfast. Um, but I've been having it as a breakfast or as like a snack throughout the day because it really fills me up. And it's just porridge with crunchy peanut butter and walnuts and it just tastes so good. <laughs> so what you'll need to make this is some large rolled porridge oats, some milk, and some crunchy peanut butter, and some walnuts, and then cinnamon is optional. I don't always put cinnamon in, um, so yeah, it just makes it a little bit sweeter, which can be nice. And sometimes I add a little bit of sugar if I really need something sugary. So yeah, I just put the oats and a bit of milk into a pan until it cooks cooks really quickly if you're just doing a tiny portion and I just put that in a bowl, whack some peanut butter on top and crumble a few walnuts on top and it's just so yummy. So yummy! Next up is a really nice one if you want something a bit light. Um, so if you don't want like a really stodgy meal, this one is great and it's really quick and easy to do. I made it like really quickly before watching Love Island. I had about 10 minutes before watching Love Island and I managed to bash out this meal just in time. <laughs> so I generally like to have like some rocket or like spinach leaves, tomatoes and then some broccoli again and then I like to make an omelette to go with it so you need two eggs and some milk for that and um, so just to make the omelette you just whisk up the egg and add a little bit of milk and then put a little bit of oil in the frying pan um, put it on a reasonably low heat like a mid heat um, and then just cook through the omelette and then I like to put some like leaves on the top bit before I flip it over um, and I will have cheese with my omelette because who doesn't love cheese? So I'll just grate up a little bit of cheese and pop that on there and then fold it in half and wait for the cheese to melt um, and whilst I'm doing that I will have put the broccoli on to boil and that will all be done and then it's just some nice yummy vegetables and a cheesy omelette and it's just really satisfying as a meal. It doesn't leave you feeling like or like sluggish. So yeah, it's really good. I love that meal. And then the final meal is just a plain old jacket potato. This is another one of my comforts. As you can tell by this video, I love potatoes. <laughs> so for this, you'll just need a potato <laughs> and I like to just have cheese with it and then just some nice vegetables to go alongside it. So I just wash the potato, um, put a few jabs in it with a knife um, and then I will just put it in the oven for a bit. If you don't want to wait like a full hour and 10 minutes for a potato to cook through then you could always put it in the microwave for a little bit first and then put it in for like half an hour or so. So then when the potato is all done I'll just chop it in half, put some cheese in it and enjoy it and it's really yummy. Who doesn't love a jack potato? They're just such classic. So yeah those are all of my simple meals that I have at uni 
There's like a few more different meals that I have every now and then, but those are like my go-to meals, I'd say. Just as a little side note, if any of you guys are the same as me and you suffer with acid reflux really badly, um, it can be very annoying. So these foods are all pretty good for acid reflux. It shouldn't upset your stomach too much. The only one that can upset my stomach is the Thai green curry. If I'm like really stressed and really like, if my acid reflux is really bad, then it's not good so I don't tend to make that but I find like potatoes and just nice simple easy meals are good for keeping the acid at bay. <laughs> I really hope you guys have found some inspiration from this video let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite meals to cook that are easy and quick um, also let me know if you want me to film more videos like this or if you want me to do like a what I ate this week video also that would be interesting yeah i just wouldn't film the snacks basically <laughs> but anyway i hope you've all had a great day and i will see you guys in my next video bye